Jesus warns, We are on the brink of war with China. I need you now. August 12, 2020 Jesus began, The enemy does not want people praying as they should. We are on the brink of war with China, and only an intercessory miracle can keep this from happening. Your president is quite inflamed over what China has done to the world, but he also understands that there are others behind it, the ones who want to destroy America. I am for you, not against you, America. I want you to recover, but more important than financial recovery is spiritual recovery. Please look at your hearts and see if they are with me or against me. Are you on the winning team or are you fighting it? Have you thrown in your lot with the sinister forces working against your country or are you on my side? Repentance is still very key in the survival of this nation. It's not a matter of regaining prosperity but regaining my protection and for this you need to repent for the atrocities that have taken place in this nation that you have supported. The entire movie industry in Hollywood has been involved in satanic ritual abuse for decades and Satan has had his way with films that tear down morals and provoke young children into violence and sex, setting the stage for the moral collapse of this nation. The dollars you have spent on their films is blood money and it is the blood of innocent children that cries out to me from the earth. How careless you've been with your money, investing in satanic cults that are behind the non-Christian movie industry. The cults, the sex, the violence are all coming directly from hell to turn your planet into a living hell on earth. You're now beginning to see their plans emerge as they foment anarchy, violence and revolution. All of this has been groomed into the movies your children have watched so that at the appropriate time young adults would join in on the onslaught of evil against this nation and be the very ones to destroy it. Your president can do only so much without repentance and heartrending prayer to turn the tide against the groundwork that has been laid by the shadow government, there is little hope, but with prayer there is great hope. And this is precisely what I wanted to address. The power of your prayers is one huge force to be reckoned with. The enemy will lie to you and tell you that your prayers are weak and insignificant, but I say they are powerful. That is why the heart dwellers are a part of my plan for the reconstruction of your country. There have been many prophecies and prognostications about nuclear and biological war, not to mention the silent but deadly force of the 5G system being introduced to your nation. It is highly dangerous and you need to rise up against it. It is linked to disease by a very sophisticated technology that can cause instant death. These towers should not be tolerated, my people. But I'm here to tell you that your prayers have foiled the plans to destroy your society. It is you that stands in the way of total chaos, disease and destruction. The prophecies have been correct. What people do not understand is that prayer has stopped them. And prayer will continue to stop them as long as you don't listen to the lie that your personal prayer does nothing to stop evil. This is what Satan would have you believe. He cannot take the power out of prayer, but he can influence your will to pray. He can discourage you with a barrage of lies, using your faults as grounds that your prayers will not be heard. I work with you on many different levels. On a personal level, I work with your sins and faults, because you are serious about holiness. But never do I shut my ears to your prayers, rather I hear them loud and clear, even when you are in a time and season of correction. Do not fall for the lie that because you fell in a fast your prayers are worthless, or because you had a bad thought your prayers will not be heard. It is true that I honor the prayers of the saints on earth, as well as in heaven, but I also hearken to the broken and struggling. 
those who have made every effort to live by the Gospels, to love their brother, to be generous in giving and forgiving, and to order their time around me, those souls are heard very loud and clear, for they have labored much for my kingdom to come. But I never close my ears to a sincere and repentant sinner, so there is no excuse for any of you to stop praying and not put in the effort for your nation. I need your prayers. My Father's hand moves because you pray. If you want to continue to live this life in relative peace, you must pray, because the scales of justice are tipping in favor of the enemy, because there are many Satanists that pray to Satan and live for him, and they are also praying for death, destruction and sadness, the downfall of America. Rise up, my body, and cry out. The prophecies declared against you do not have to be fulfilled. You can stop them now, dead in their tracks. I only ask that you pray with all your hearts for my Father to grant you more time, more grace, and more mercy. When you receive me at communion, cry out to me. Lord, give me a heart to pray with sincerity and passion. There is a grace waiting for you, if only you will ask.